I have Asperger's syndrome, which is a type of autism, and I also have scoliosis of the spine, so I have a curve up at the top of my back where there shouldn't be one. Both of those conditions have an impact on me travelling around London, um, trains and buses. It can be really difficult sometimes being autistic, getting on a public transport mode in general because I'm so nervous about the fact there's going to be lots of people on there, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a seat. Uh, I have a blue badge because I have scoliosis of the spine, I need to sit when I'm travelling. If I stand on a moving vehicle like a bus, it will give me spasms up, up my back which can leave me in pain for hours on end. So probably the best example of a really bad day uh, was a couple of weeks ago when the Northern Line was shut. I got off my usual train at King's Cross, walked out to the buses at the front and instead of there being 20 or so people at my bus stop, there was hundreds of people. Um, and it, it was quite terrifying really because I didn't actually know when I'd be able to get a bus. I didn't know what was going on at first because there was no communication anywhere telling me the Northern Line was shut. It was just suddenly there were lots more people trying to get my bus. Seeing a huge crowd of people, it's, it's like you've been punched in the stomach. There's suddenly this huge twist of anxiety. Everything goes tense. You, you go into flight or fright mode and it's just like, oh my God, how am I going to cope with this? And, and this is right at the start of the day. I haven't even made it into work yet. I've still got to do eight hours of work. Um, my buses at King's Cross come from Euston, so they're generally quite full when they arrive anyway. Uh, so if I'm not one of the first three people on the bus, I, I don't get a seat at all. And even wearing the badge doesn't necessarily work because people, people don't look up and you need to ask them to give you a seat. But being autistic, asking a stranger to do something for you, is, it's a real no-no. So there's been a couple of times when I've, I've had to stand. If I can get myself backed into a corner, I can just about be okay. One of the reasons I wear a backpack is so I have some cushioning. But even then, I'm feeling, as the legs are moving, as the bus is moving, those little shocks coming up my pelvis, are, they're wiggling the base of my spine and it's then shooting pains coming all the way up my spine. It's like tiny little strands of white hot fire. It just stings everywhere. The perfect transport system would be one that runs very, very regularly with lots and lots of, of units or buses happening. So there's plenty of space for people to get on. Better communication would definitely be a thing. Um, not every bus stop in London has the sign telling you how many minutes till the next one. So sometimes you, you panic and you jump on the first one you see because it might be 10 minutes you're standing there in the rain waiting for the next one.